In this video, let's see a new topic in the chapter of matrix called as symmetric matrix. We already know various types of matrices and we have seen some numericals on what are matrices and the types of matrices. This topic is in succession to the previous topics. The topic is named as symmetric matrix. Now what is symmetric matrix? We need to understand it with care. And this topic can only be understood if you know what is transpose and how to calculate transpose. We have seen in our previous videos how to calculate transpose. That information is important. So I advise you all before watching this video, watch the concept of transpose. Let's read what the definition is and we'll see a numerical illustration to the same. A square matrix A is equal to Aij is called a symmetric matrix when what condition follows if Aij is equal to Aji. That means something and what is it? We'll see with the help of numerical example. But one thing is for sure that a matrix is called a symmetric if and only if this condition is followed which means Aij is equal to Aji for all Ij. That means what? If i is 1, j is 1 or if i is 2, j is 1, all things yield me aij values and then when you interchange to aji, then also the things should be same. Suppose I consider an example and then we'll make the things more clear. I have a matrix A and that matrix is suppose having an order which is 3 by 3. That means three rows, three columns and hence it is what? It is a square matrix. And the entries are something like this. ABC as the first column, ABC as the first row. This is the matrix. Now there is something special about this matrix. What is the special thing? You see that the first row is what? It is ABC. And it is equal to the first column, which is again ABC, right? That means R1 and C1 are same. That means row 1 and column 1 are same. Similarly, you see second row, which is BDE. And then you see second column, which is again BDE. Even these are same. That means R2 and C2 are same. Similarly, last but not the least, you see the third row, which has CEF. And that is equal to the last column, CEF. So that means what? That means the rows in succession are equal to the columns. Or one more thing that can be said is, if I have A11, A12, A13 and these things, let's list them first and then understand one more concept. A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23, A31, A32, A33. Now, what does this mean? This actually means that I need to list all these entries one by one. What is A11 according to this given matrix? That means the first row, first column element, it is not other thing, but yes, it is A. What is A12? A12 means first row, second column. Where is first row? It's here. Where is second column? It is B. A13, A13 means first row, third column, it is C. Similarly, A21, A22, A23, we need to find. What is A21? A21 is second row, first column. Second row, first column is B. A22 means second row, second column, which is nothing but the central element D. A23, second row, third column, it is E. Now quickly on your own fill these values, I wouldn't be explaining A31, A32, A33, it is CEF. So it is CEF. Why have we listed these elements? We are about to follow something, a pattern. You watch A12, wherein I is your 1 and J is your 2. After watching A12, now, if we want to watch something called as A21, let's see what is A21. A21 is here. And what is A21? It is again B. 1, 2 is interchanged to 2, 1. But the value that you obtain is same, it is B. It is same as the definition that Aij is equal to Aji. You have just interchanged. 
and that does not follow only for one case it follows for everything you see a13 a13 is what it is c if it is a symmetric matrix a31 should also be c where is a31 it is here it is also c similarly if a32 is e that means a23 that means our interchanging should also be e so that means all the non diagonal entries when interchange with ij give me the same value only the diagonal entries are something which are separate rest everything can be interchanged and obtained so if this happens in a matrix wherein i say that the entries such that aij is equal to aji it is a symmetric matrix one another definition of this matrix is what related to transpose how to do it let's see i have been given a matrix you saw this matrix which was a matrix now find out the transpose transpose means what the order has to be interchanged i will become j j will become i still it is 3 by 3 first column here first row here the first row becomes first column second row becomes second column third row becomes third column this we already know so first row is abc make it the first column second row horizontal bde make it the second column last but not the least third row vertical not horizontal but cef make it here so now see are these two matrices not same they are exactly the same that means what that means your a is actually equal to a transpose so whenever my a is equal to a transpose such matrices are called as symmetric matrix that means any square matrix wherein the transpose of a matrix is equal to the given matrix that matrix is called as a symmetric matrix